Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing an overview of the JP data download and the global release of the Raditz event. So first off, we're going to jump between both versions, just going back and forth. First one is the low class warrior Raditz pride. Um, this event is now available and um, it's only four stages. It's not that bad. It's actually not that bad of an event overall either. Um, it's very short and you get your Raditzes there. I don't know what the drop rates are. I just did it, ran it once on level two. I got my drop. I think it's a guaranteed drop on the first time around. So. Uh, I got him. I know a lot of people are running Raditz as leaders for this event, but I'm going to ask you guys for your friends, if you happen to have Fasha, Fasha is a decent leader. She does key plus three for everyone, but she meets the requirements for both this event because she's technically a low class warrior and she meets the requirements for the Petchy Petchy Girl leader, which is needed for the Rebrian event. So if you guys happen to have Fasha as a card, a unit, even if, especially if she's TUR, Try and use her as a leader on this event because you're going to help all of your friends out on your friends list. I have mine currently set to Fasha because anyone who could, anyone can use her between the two events. Now, with that being said, <clears throat> almost all the great apes, I think all the great apes are considered low class warriors except for Vegeta's. Um, and maybe, not, I don't think Nappa was on that list. So I think it's like a Turles and all of Bardock's crew, Bardock and his crew, they're all low class warriors. So I'm actually essentially running a great ape team um, against this event. Now, you get all the drops that you need to, um, and you don't really have any issues with it. It's a pretty fun event to run. Um, I actually, so I only played up until stage two, and I really liked, um, you know, the whole thing with Bardock coming. Because I didn't play it on JP, so I, I wasn't aware of what happened. Uh, Bardock coming along and talking to Raditz and everything, and he was just like, stop being a pussy, dude. <laughs> so, um, I really enjoyed that part of it, and I can't wait to play the rest of it and get my, uh, my Raditz all set up. Pretty cool event. I really enjoyed it. It's going to be here for another month, so you have to, like, 20 more days before it goes away. A little bit less than that. Um, it looks like here we have, shout out to the Reddit, by the way, and shout out to dbz.space for all this information. I'm over here on the Reddit. Um, let's see here. Contains four stages, hard, Z hard, blah, blah, blah. Um, it looks so, Father's Dream, you go up against Spardock, you get Raditz or training locations, and he's a tech type. So if you guys don't have any of the categories, just bring a, an intelligence. He's not horribly hard, but just bring, a, like, a mono intelligence team if you have no one to actually throw, like, on there for some, uh, for bonus drops. You'll get through the event a lot quicker. Uh, Raditz's Pride, you go up against some Cybermen and you get some training items. Apparently you got to do this a lot, but um, again, I haven't played him, so I'm sure there's a lot of Cybermen. You need to clear like a thousand Cybermen for some mission rewards. Um, and then the following card could be dropped, Low Class Warrior Raditz. He's an SSR, he's a garbage leader, until he like Doken Awakens when he becomes an, uh, an AOE unit. And he gives key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 40%. Uh, oh, sorry, HP and defense plus 40% and attack plus 80% for Low Class Warriors, which honestly isn't that bad. Um, though most low class warriors are like grade 8, at least the TUR variants are, um, or the SSR variants are, so I mean there's only so much you could do, but he's not horrible with the passive skill, attack plus 50% on the start of turn, key plus 6, attack plus, and defense plus 30% when facing two or more enemies, so he gets attack plus 80% when he's doing a world tournament team. I, I know a lot of you, well a couple of you had said in the comments below that he is meant to be for a world tournament nuker. Uh, specifically because of that, so if you feed some dupe system into him, I mean, look at this, his max attack is nothing, really, and he's not going to really get that much with uh, dupe system, you know, I, in my, my opinion anyway, I don't really think he, he's going to be able to handle like a level 30 world tournament, but when, I'll, I'll go ahead and check out videos from the JP side to see if it was possible, I haven't checked that out yet, um, if you guys know that it's possible to run him on a times 30, let me know in the comments below, uh, I, I consider him able to run a times 30 if he doesn't need to get like a crit off in order to do it. You know, remember, he only gets one mass damage, so unless you're like stacking him with double attacks and you're praying for like a double mass damage to go off, chances are it's not going to happen. Um, overall, is he just cool for a leader? Keep us for uh, HP, defense plus 40, attack plus 80%. It's cool for older events if you want to have some fun. You'll always be getting super attacks off. So, um, Or, you know, you could just do it with like a really decent leader with b better stat buffs with less key, and you will have him to make up for the key. Anyway, ultra rare Raditz will deal extreme damage to all enemies on the field. Support Eider, item, item, <laughs> item, um, old model scouter, effect 4C enemy super attacks for 3 turns at the start of the turn and of the next turn, and key plus 2. So that's really not that bad, it's actually pretty awesome. Uh, this is what I was talking about for about stage um, 3, you have to clear a thousand enemies in order to get all these cool rewards. Now personally I think it's worth it, I mean it's not that hard, especially if you have that AoE Raditz. Just keep on bringing him, honestly I'm probably just going to bring my full nuker team. Um, I don't really care about the drops for the training items because I have so many damn uh, platinum shells, plus all my all my units are maxed out. I have almost every unit in the game, at the, well not almost every, I probably have about a good like 60-70% to 70 of the units in the game. So. Um, Raditz, yeah, it's, it's, I don't think it's worth getting all of this, 
But, like, I'm definitely going to go to the other Kai, because why the heck not? It just grind it out. It seems pretty simple. I don't know how many enemies you actually have to face on the round level 3, but uh, I'll figure it out and I'll do the math on that. Maybe I'll do a live stream of me grinding this out. But anyway, that's here. That's available. So go ahead and do that grind. Um, outside that, Raditz medals are going to be available on stage 4. Um, that's these medals, and they only do can awaken this guy, apparently, as of right now. Um, we also had, moving over to the JP side, we had an issue with the exclusive evolution Turles. Um, I don't know if this is going to be the newest Turles. I think it is. Um, I have him over here. Yeah, explosive evolution Turles. So apparently, he does key plus 3, attack plus 40% for all allies, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it looks like here, this, uh, the defective description. When the reinforcement state is canceled in three turns, pass the skill strengthen within three turn divine fruit. On the third turn, it's released the next when the shifts were... Okay, so essentially, his, his that special was not canceling. Um, so he, he was not canceling whatever the Fruit of the Tree of Might power is. Um, I think it was this when he when he goes into his evolution form. After three turns, it was supposed to cancel, and it wasn't canceling. So for those of you who end up getting that, and you, uh, and you eat the Fruit of the Tree of Might, apparently it just keeps on going for six rounds total. Which can be either really good or really bad, depending on, you know, whenever, whatever you're trying to do. If you're under a time crunch, it's not great. If you're not under a time crunch, hell, that's great, because you have 15 times 6. Um, that is almost a full health regeneration at that point. Attack and defense plus 30%, and super type enemies defense minus 80%. So you're just demolishing everything. Um, yeah, I mean, utilize it. If you have this, if you have this Turles, go for it and have fun with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, all right, let's see over here. Moving over to the JP data download. Now, I did see this last night. I didn't want to do a video because I want to wait for more information to come out because I want to be able to give you guys good information. Um, <clears throat> the tournament rankings, let's see. I'm going to grind 100%. My Raditz is disguised probably. Oh, wow. What is being said right now? <laughs> uh, anyway, new cards. Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan Rebirth. Physical Goku Rebirth. Strength Piccolo Jr. Rebirth. Um, physical SSR Chi Chi is going to be the reward. Agility SR Team Goku is here. STR Mass Rod Yajirobe, it's a rare. Um, Technique SR Krillin. Intelligence SR Yamcha. And Full Power Freeze Z Awakening has been downloaded. Cherry Blossom Event. Consuming 1,000 stamina before 9 to 427 will give various rewards, including Elder Kai SSR. Tech Balma Event is returning, so if those of you who don't have that free-to-play Tech Balma, highly recommend doing it. You can get her some nice crits up in there. She's really a good unit for any free-to-play like, event that requires free-to-play units, like the Freeza Event. And the LR Goku event. Uh, and clearing 15 story events uh, between the same time frame will give various rewards. World Tournament Mission. Clearing the tournament with the giant team, the Pitchy Pitchy Girl team, and, or and the World Tournament category team. Seven times each rewards World Tournament medals for your Doken Awakening. So, I mean, it's a pain in the butt, but I mean, whatever. I guess you could just run it on the easiest setting um, 21 times and you'll get a whole bunch of different rewards. And then you can go to the 30 times and start competing. That's a pain in the butt. For, like, a lot of people who want to get the points. Um, but, I mean, if you already have all the World Tournament medals, it doesn't matter to you. Uh, at the same time, I think this is a way for them to, like, level out the playing field for those who don't have, like, LR Broly and don't want to, who can't run on 30 times like everyone else. It's going to force people who want those extra rewards to spend the extra time, the extra 21 events or 21 runs, uh, doing it on an easier uh, level. So that way they can get through it quicker. Uh, lower points when you do that. New Extreme Z Awakening, Extreme Z Awakening for Full Power Frieza. Now, we're going to talk about that in a bit. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that they didn't do anything to his passive skill, but his stats are ridiculous now. So, I mean, it's like one of those mixed feelings where it's like, I, I can't be too upset because he's going to be hitting a lot harder because his stats are ridiculous. Uh, but I feel like they should have given him an attack buff. But, I mean, whatever. At the end of the day, I'm still going to run him because mine's 100% on the global side when he comes out anyway. 23rd World Tournament Reward Changes um, starts Friday 4-6, so it starts tomorrow. Um, 1 a.m. Pacific time, and end Sunday for 8. So there's really, wow, it's a two-day tournament. That's crazy. And the top 1,000 gets potential orbs now. So I saw that too. Um, you are actually starting to get some potential orbs from completing the world tournament in the top like tier, which actually is really useful. I can't wait for them to start doing that on Global, though I, brought, I think I'm world tournamented out. I don't want to do that. Um, these are all the rewards or the cards that are going to be getting Dokens or that are new uh, from the World Tournament. So we have this Gohan over here. He's the one who Doken Awakens from this Gohan. I think that's the... I think if, Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's the Baba Shop Gohan. Um, he Doken Awakens to this dude now. We're going to go ahead and translate to English. Uh, we don't have it available on the wiki yet, so we're just doing the Google Translate for that. Uh, one turn greatly raises his attack. Super, uh, super opponent damage. Um, key plus two attack uh, and HP and attack up at 50%. So that's not bad. Um, let's see. Anger Exhilaration, Spirit and Skill and Physical Strength. Oh, so he's a support unit. So he's going to be support. I don't know what Spirit is. It's skill and Physical. 
Skills probably technique, so it, it might be intelligence, um, technique, and physical units. Because I don't think spirit would be strength or agility. Uh, anyway, golden warrior combat, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has all the basic stuff and soul versus soul. So he's because he had shattering the limit, so that's awesome. I'm um, not a horrible Doken Awakening. He's going to be a good support unit, I guess, so we can go ahead and run him. Um, then we have the new Dokening for this Goku that everyone's been waiting for. I think I touched upon it. Attack and defense was 80% at the time of uh, super attack. So that's really not that bad. I mean, he's not a Super Saiyan, so you're really not going to use him too often. But <clears throat> it looks like he's going to be—it um, looks like he's going to be a pretty good unit. And he has a chance to stun, so that's not horrible for a physical team. And we have the Doken Awakening for this Piccolo Junior. Um, so that's going to be cool. Let's see: uh, power, key plus two, HP, and attack plus 60% up. Uh, supreme damage greatly lowers defense, which is not that bad. Um, I can't actually read what his passive is supposed to be because of this here. Attack of the whole enemy and defense 20% down. So attack and defense minus 20% for the enemy. Fainting enemies attack with medium probability. Um, what does that mean? Uh, I, I'm, I'm just, I don't know if that means he's going to be one-shotting and he has a chance to one-shot like a uh, death beam, devil might beam. Don't know what that actually means, so I apologize about that. Uh, I'll go ahead and check out the actual Reddit. So let's go over here real quick and see if we had any trend. Here we go. Um, medium chance to stun the enemy and attack, and great chance to go giant. Okay, so it's it's to stun, not to to one shot. Apologies about that. Um, you know what? Let's just stick over here for the rest of these. Chi Chi, leader skill, physical type key plus two attack and defense plus fifty percent. Meh. Supreme damage, rare chance to stun. Eh. Uh, for passive for two turns, enemy attack and defense minus twenty percent. Um, when HP is fifty percent or higher, key plus three attack and defense minus plus sixty percent. I. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I really don't. I, I feel like she's, she just got shafted horribly. Like, I understand it's World Tournament reward, but, like, come on. Let's let's hook some of these these World Tournament units up with better, better like, skills. You know what I'm saying? Like, at, at least be, like, passive. Not for two turns. Like, all the time. Attack. When she's on the field, attack and defense minus 20%. That would have been so much better. I feel like for a World Tournament card, that would have been fine. Not a lot of people utilize the damage reduction uh, P units, but, you know, those who do can be benefit highly from them. Anyway, Team Goku, uh, leader skill, agility, and physical type, HP, and attack plus 20%, extreme damage, high chance to stun, wow, that's actually awesome. Passive, attack plus, defense plus 100%, and when there are two or more enemies, key plus two, attack plus 40%. See, I mean, for an SR, what? That's so much better. <laughs> Mass Yajirobe, strength key plus two, wow, wow, for a rare, guys, a rare is giving uh, strength type key plus two. Imagine back in the days, remember when we had to grind out those damn uh, events for like the Mass Saiyan, uh, not the Mass Saiyan, um, uh, Gra Grandpa Gohan when he was wearing the mask, the, the mask, whatever he was called, and he was key plus three, and that was it. Oh man, anyway, super attack causes huge damage, seals, and he seals a rare, he seals. Oh my gosh, another rare that seals, and physical life enemies attack minus one, 20%. Yo, like they shafted, they shafted GG, in my opinion. That's all there is to it. Yamcha leader skill, intelligence type attack plus 30%, extreme damage lowers enemy attack, key is seven or more, attack and defense plus 50%. Uh, okay. When key is plus key plus four when HP is below seventy. Um, okay, whatever. I mean, I'm never going to use them. I don't think anyone really will. Um, and we have the new full power freeze extreme Z awakening information. Let's just go ahead and over here real quick. Just want to show you the cards. So this is the kid, the team Goku that we were talking about. So that's awesome. Uh, that's what he looks like. And he's an oh actually yeah he's a he's a SR that Z awakens to an SSR. Um, we already show, already showed you the Piccolo. This is the Krillin. This is the Yamcha that's over here, which is actually pretty cool. You got the Spirit Ball, I like that. And that's the Yajirobe. The Yajirobe ain't that bad, honestly. I'm not going to lie to you. That Yajirobe is pretty damn OP. Uh, anyway, so the Fist Full Power Frieza Extreme Z Awakening. Um, yeah, so he obviously becomes Leader Billy with HP Attack and Fence plus 70%. Uh, that's what the trend is with all these guys. are getting to become 70% leaders to make him useful again. Super Attack causes immense damage. And defense rises, raises for three turns, or yeah, for, by 30% for three turns. Now, that's all that they did to him. They gave him a 30% defense buff for his super. Um, I feel like if that was six turns, I would have been a little bit happier with it, I guess. But I know uh, physical units typically do better with defending anyway, but okay, that's not bad. Um, passive skill, attack plus 120% on the super attack. So that's, that's not, that hasn't changed at all. He just gets attack plus 120%, period. That's all there is to it with immense damage. Um, as the first attacker, though, he gets an additional key plus three, and defense plus thirty percent. So that means that Korra is going to be in the middle all the time, which isn't bad by any means. Um, Korra was usually the blocker because he he had better stats to block. Now that Frieza is going to get an additional thirty percent just for being in the first turn, it will even it out. So it doesn't matter which one you have. 
Um, so, I mean, that's up to you on how you feel about that. Key plus three will probably help him out. And if you're running a, a normal team, you need, you need, uh, well, you don't need, it's not, like, required. But you would prefer to have Key on that team because you want to make sure that they get their super attacks off because they're just going to be hitting so hard. Now, if you have, like, the, the two boos, you have the super boo, which is the main support unit, which is, like, Key plus three, uh, attack and defense plus 40%, and then you have the kid boo, which is just attack and defense plus 50%. That's a really nice setup. If you have that kid boo on rotation, you might need that key, um, depending on who you're running. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so he will be pretty, he's going to do some pretty decent damage. He's going to be tanking a lot better. So essentially what they did is they just made it so that way he could tank. Uh, his links have not changed. His super attack is now 15, and level cap has increased to 40, 140. Um, let's go over here, take a look at him. Well, that's the chi chi. Uh, this is the Frieza. This is his regular stats. This is his new max stats. So it looks like he's getting about a thousand, um, a thousand max, a thousand added to his attack. His HP is getting about a little bit under three thousand, and his defense is going up by like only one thousand. So um, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, his defense didn't go up too much, and the fact that they gave him more defensive buffs, I feel like defense should have probably went up higher. But those stats are not bad at all. I mean, like, take a look at that. That's that's not horrible. His HP is almost 20,000. His attack's almost 18,000. And his defense is over 12,000. I mean, like, it's ridiculous. He's going to be hitting so much harder. I mean, I know because I already hit with him um, on my mono physical team. I can't wait for this to come. Now, there's some speculation as to what he's going to be weak to. Some people are saying it's going to be the giant category because great apes. He hates, he hates Saiyans. Other people are saying that it's going to be like Nan Namek Saga category team. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I hope that's not Namek Saga category because I don't know who's going to be part of the Namek Saga that's going to be, like, super useful. I mean, I guess you have that one Goku that um, survives knockout attacks that might be useful. Uh, I, I don't know. I, we'll have to wait and see see what happens. I kind of hope that, um, you know, he comes to Global sooner rather than later because I really... I mean, I'm going to go in Z, uh, Extreme Z Awakening my Broly just because, like, I want to. I'll try it out to see if I can do it. But if I can't, it's not a big deal because I have the LR Broly for the World Tournament. I want this full power freezer though because I love my mono physical team. He's going to be so OP for it. But uh, anyway, guys, that's all the information for that. Uh, I will be grinding out a whole bunch of stuff uh, because of this. Also, just, just, just to go back to what I said at the beginning of the video, remember to throw Fasha as your leader on the global side so that way you can help out all your friends if you have one. All right, that'll definitely help everyone out, especially if you ever Doken Wake and Key Plus 3 is not bad. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that Frieza. Stats aren't horrible. I just wish they added a little bit more to his passive. Like, instead of attack plus 120, let's add it to like 140 or something like that. But uh, whatever, it would have been a little bit too OP, I guess. But anyway, guys, thanks for joining me here today. That's it for now. I'll catch you all in the comments below. All right, peace.